Hello everyone. So in this lecture we are going to discuss about important commands which can be used to administrator your Linux box. So the command which we are going to understand that is pwd it's a very important command that is print working directory. It shows the directory you are currently in. While doing the administration part in Linux many times you know we have to travel from one location to another location. We know that a Linux structure it is a hierarchical structure it always start with slash and different different directories are there. So many times we are not aware that we are currently deciding on which location. So we always prefer this command that is pwd command which tells you where you are currently in. So I am just going to log into my Linux box and will show you how we can use this command. So I am just logged in here. So you can see that I am in this location here but I don't know what is my current location. So I can simply fire pwd command. It will tell me that you are in slash where slash log. So this is a directory where I am currently in. And if I want to change my location I always use this command cd. cd is for change directory and after that I can give any location. If I am giving slash temp so my location has been changed now. If I want to see again I can fire pwd command. Now it is telling that you are in location slash temp. If I am firing ls command it will show you the content of this location. So whatever the files or whatever the directories that we have in slash temp directory it will list. Okay and if I am again going to this location where log and if I am firing this ls command so it will list you the content of this directory. So whatever we have in this directory it will list out with this command ls command and if I am in this location if I am firing ls command it will list out you the contents of this location. Clear command is to clear out the screen. So we have just learned two commands that is pwd and cd command also we have learned clear command we have learned okay. So next is your ls. ls also we have learned. So ls tell you whatever the contents we have in this location it will list out you. So I have just fired pwd. I am giving clear. Now I am going into this again ls command. So it is giving me the some files and directories. I am not aware with the output like whether the files whether it is uh, the content which I am getting here it is a file directory whatever because it is just you know giving me the outputs without giving the more description. If you want to get the detail about the content you have to add some option with the ls command. So you have to use l. So if I am using hyphen l, l is for long listing. You can see that the output has been little bit changed. Now let me expand it. Clear. Again I am firing the same command. Now you can see the output is coming in more descriptive format. Here you can see that this is my directory because it always starts with D. If it is starting with D it means it's a directory. If it is start with single dash I am going to create a directory. I am going to create a file here touch test. Again I am going to fire this command. You can see that this test has been created in this location pwd. Okay because it is start with dash it means it's a direct file. And if it is started with D it means a directory. So here you can see that different files are there and directories are there. And we have used simple command ls command. So all the files are coming with the date and at what date it has been created. You can see that all the information is coming now. If I am going into this location where log and if I am going to fire the same command ls l you can see the lot of files are started showing there with the dates and time. But if I want to you know see the output in some you know arranged format like it should be coming like the file which has been created you know it should be coming in descending order with respect to time. So you have to add on few more options. I am adding this t, t is for time stamping. Now you can see the time started coming like uh, the file which was created earlier it started showing this December 5th then November okay. 
so this was the oldest file and then 2005 and then 2000 you know the recent file is like that okay it is coming like in descending order okay again if i am going to add one more option t is for reverse order now i can see the output which has been the file which has been created you know recently it is showing at the top and then you can see it is showing like this date wise you can see that okay so at the top you can see the file which has created you know uh, earlier it is showing this one and then it is in ascending order now 2014 2015 and then the latest one so this option we have added few options like l t l is for long lasting t is for time stamping and r is for reverse order so like this way you can customize your commands as well so we have learned few commands like pwd command ls command and what are the different options we have with ls command and also we have understand cd change directory touch command clear command so friends that's all for this lecture in the next lecture we are going to understand a lot of more commands as well so thanks for watching and if you have time please join with me in the next lecture